Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back of course everybody to another brand new video. Today guys, we are back of course on Minecraft with another brand new Minecraft, I guess, uh, build tutorial guys. It's been a while, it really has been, honestly folks. The last time we done a Minecraft build tutorial guys, it was quite a long time ago in fact. I believe the last one that we done was how to build an ocean monument, so to come back and do, a, well I guess an old series, um, is honestly quite refreshing and quite different. If you guys don't know, we are to, I guess today going to be starting up the, I guess, second part of how to build an NPC village and um, for those of you who don't know basically over two years ago almost now almost two, uh, two years ago now I finished my NPC village tutorial series and um, it was a big hit on the channel gained over you know all six episodes and total gained well over I think it was like 250,000 uh, views which is obviously a quarter of a million which is just honestly incredible and mad and I got so much amazing support for those videos and all six of them honestly received so much amazing you know feedback and stuff it was genuinely incredible now since those videos went up a lot of you guys asked me to do another series you know related to the villages uh, for instance maybe how to build the sandstone versions or how to build the acacia versions or the spruce and honestly I would have done it folks but they were all the exact same buildings just with different colors and that wasn't very interesting but as a lot of you guys probably already know the village and pillage update at least the full version has now came out and has been fully released meaning we've got whole new villages with whole new designs of the houses now listen that whole playlist of the original six buildings that are for the you know normal original NPC village are still there you guys can go watch them if you want to build that and if you want to build you know build the new village you can watch these episodes and these series guys so yeah today we're gonna to be starting off episode one of our new series to build the actual NPC I guess church um this is the NPC, I guess, uh, Spruce Church, so it's a little bit different. Um, I've got the entire shopping list here, and I'm going to be building this thing unlike last time where it was layer by layer by layer. I'm going to be doing this thing straight up front in front of you guys and showing you how I build it, you know, right here in survival. So, yeah, you guys can see right here we got the shopping list for the Spruce Church, and uh, you guys can see all the stuff that is in here. This is every single thing that you will need to build this entire build, guys. Make sure you've got this. This is your shopping list right now. Before you build the Spruce Church, uh, the, the Spruce, sorry, Church, make sure you've got every single thing here. If you don't know that, it's obviously, of course, you know, Spruce Wood there. We're going to need at least three stacks of cobblestone and 23 extra. We're going to need, uh, what's it, two cobblestone walls, two cobblestone stairs, one, or sorry, eight dark oak wood uh, fences, um, 20, or sorry, I keep, why am I reading that wrong? 40 spruce logs, um, 29 spruce wood, which is basically the solid, like, log rather than, like, the log with, you know, the little bit on the top. You guys know what I mean. Uh, obviously five pieces of grass you can use dirt but grass is preferred um, a brewing stand one spruce door four ladders one flower pot three poppies or Again, it's any, I guess, flower of your choice. I think poppy is probably the most traditional, best looking one, but again, it's completely of your choice. Uh, five purple carpets, uh, seven torches, 31, uh, what's it, spruce trap doors, and obviously four pieces of glass, guys. And once you've got that, that is your entire shopping list right there, ready to rock and roll, folks. So yeah, where are you building the spruce church? Now listen, folks, this is gonna be a little bit weird because I haven't done a build tour in a while, so if I do make any mistakes, I will rectify them, but I do apologize in advance, right? Um, but yeah, guys, so you can see as well, we're gonna have to probably have to, we're gonna have to, at least a few times run back and forth having a look and making sure we're building this thing right but yeah so we're going to begin with the corner right here guys the, the yellow isn't what we're going to be building on the white is what we're going to be building on right here folks so yeah you're going to want to be you're going to want to begin by actually building the back left wall so it's going to be one two three four five like that I'm going to come across two three four five like that so it's like a five by five as you guys can see like this little l shape and then right here in front what you guys want to do is come all the way across don't go in this little part right here but you're going to want to go two three four five six seven eight like that eight blocks across fantastically now this is going to be for the actual grass blocks for anybody that's curious and uh, again we're going to do this thing all totally and utterly right and i think i've already <laughs> i think i've already made a mistake uh because i'm going to make sure i do this thing right it's because of the other flower plots the flower sorry pots as well at the end there but uh, yeah so let's, let's actually get right to this part here we're going to go like this one two and then go like this three and then one and then obviously three and then one and then of course it would be three like that and then this is the part would be, you know, here. So again, we're gonna get rid of this part here. I made a mistake like this, folks. Let me just show you like that. So basically, this is what you're gonna want to have. Seven blocks at the front. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And you're gonna want to have this kind of like little pan right here. I'll kind of stop like this for a second so you guys can kind of pause and see exactly what I've done here. This is the layout that you should have right now, a three by three in here like this, because it's gonna be like your little tower at the side. And obviously, you know, this kind of like little gap as well, so you can walk in and through. Trust me, guys, we're gonna, you know, make this place look really nice and really clean. And uh, while you're at it as well, if you want to real quick, you may as well, honestly dig out the floor real quick i'm going to do the exact same 
just there. Dig out the entire floor, replace it with stone, and then that should be you guys ready to rock and roll. We'll continue building up the vault. So real quick, we'll just dig out the floor again. I know I have got uh, all this white concrete here, and I know for some will be like, why have you got this here, Joe? But this is just because this is the, uh, the, the preferred block. This is actually what I use whenever I'm doing a vault tutorial from now on, just kind of like, I guess, make it stick out so you guys can really see the outlines, I guess, of whatever it's going to be and where it's going to be built. And uh, real quick as well, where's the front door going to be? Let's kind of just build the, the little hole for the front door. We're going to want to build the front door one block away. Okay, so just like this, folks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think it should be right here. That should be us right there. And then we can break this block like there. And there you guys go. That is the entire frame built right there. So from here, guys, we're going to want to start building the actual front wall like this. We're going to come up by two blocks. So one, two. Come all the way across here. One and then two. Right here. One, two. One, two. Oh, one, two. Like that. Again, don't worry guys, you've got plenty of resources. If you, by the end of the build, run out of resources for some reason, that means you have done something wrong. So just double check your measurements and come back, guys. But remember, this is your own thing, guys. It's, it's kind of like a bit of a Bob Ross painting, honestly. This is how I like to think about doing my tutorials. You're not building what I'm building. You're building what you're building. You want to build what you want to build. You don't want to have to listen to me. Listen, if you want to build this like the exact same way, you can. If you want to build it, you know, slightly different, you can. If you want to add your own kind of touches to it, you can. It's totally your choice, guys, but yeah. So right now, in fact, we'll add the, in fact, we'll, we'll leave the decorations to last, right? That isn't really the, the main key feature yet. So we're going to come in the side like this as well, guys. Going to add a, you know, one, two like that. So it looks like this here. Going to bring this all the way across like that. I believe it's going to just be like that perfect over right there. We're just going to go double check around here. Just make sure everything's all ready to rock around. I know someone's already going to be commenting like, oh my God, Joe, you should know off by heart. This shouldn't be something that you should be having to do on video. Listen, folks, when I'm doing tutorials, I got, a, the only kind of hate that I did get, and I must admit, <clears throat> excuse me, I must admit, we did get a little bit of hate um, on the NPC bold kind of, I guess series the only hit I did get was for the simple fact being that I done it on layers rather than actually like this you know step by step which I can do it in step by step and in layers I can do both basically if you guys don't know layers is basically where if you're watching the person what you're watching them do is uh, basically you know not actually build it but show you the layers in which you build it it's quite honestly it's not complicated I, I was about to say complicated it's not complicated really at all but it is a little bit of a pain for some people and I genuinely respect and understand that that's why for this series I want to make it a little bit more different and a little bit more uh, spicy if you want to call it that so yeah right there you guys can see this is the back wall we got the side wall here like that and this is how it should look right there and uh, you guys should be able to follow along with this honestly it's not too hard guys uh, right here you can add actually these two cobblestone right here on the side like that so you got like a little bit of an L shape um, and just bring all these walls here up two blocks like this so it's all this exact same height like this just just try you know just follow along guys and listen build at your own pace if i go too fast and i do understand i might speak a little bit too fast just go back reverse the video it's no harm done pause the video reverse it slow it down or even just rewatch again there's no harm in it guys you're not failing you're not messing up you're just taking your time and building at your own pace and that is the main thing <clears throat> so yeah we're gonna get the actual cobblestone walls here put them in like that add the torches on top like this because i obviously need your torches around your little i guess fortificated castle if you want to call that um <clears throat> excuse me I'm freaking I, my my throat <clears throat> excuse me guys sorry about that i'm uh, gonna want to come all the way across like this right here to this part right there uh, i'll bring this to right like that guys so you can see i guess we're just dragging this wall all the way across just a little dragon motion like that uh <laughs> not a dragon as in an actual dragon you guys know what i'm saying uh let's bring this all the way across here like this awesome possum and i think we're just going to do what we've done before so for instance we're going to have this like that so it comes up like this. So we'll have like a solid wall here. I'm going to just go double check the other side. Or should we just, uh, we'll work on the side that we can work on right now. How about that? I think, I think that makes more sense, guys. We'll work on that. So we're going to go like this. Two blocks up like this. Two blocks all the way around. Keep adding layers to it, guys. Don't worry. I will tell you exactly how to do this. So don't worry. It's not you're missing out on anything. Or I'm forgetting any like make it main uh, key features or anything like that. Don't worry. You're not missing out on anything. But guys, you guys can see that it's like the next big layer right here. So I think it should be around about what? block right is about here yep that's right good so another two blocks away around like this folks just keep following along guys again build at your own pace don't feel like you've got to rush that's the worst thing about tutorials that i watch nowadays a lot of minecraft build tutorials oftentimes nowadays really make you feel like you have to rush and that's not good honestly you shouldn't have to rush you're not trying to rush i mean you want to build at your own pace by the way i added this little corner part by accident so make sure it looks like this little little three by three make sure the corners all kind of chopped off like that so it looks like this on the roof you guys can i'm sure follow along it isn't honestly that difficult guys you're all smart enough yeah i mean credit where credit is due um but right let's get us up here and let's see right there so we're gonna want to go one block deeper like that that's awesome possum uh you guys can see right here we're gonna go like pretty much i mean if you guys look at this level right here we're gonna add these in like that um uh, we're gonna do this by the way the same pattern on every single side like you guys can see right there you know there's uh, one like uh dark oak wood fence there with obviously the two uh, spruce trap doors two spruce trap doors and then one dark oak on that side and the exact same on that side and on the other side as well uh so yeah you guys can see like this you're gonna want to make sure it's like one block up from the roof like that we're gonna jump back onto this. Oh, we've got to be careful, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't want to die here. Can I? Can I get across, please? Can, can, are you gonna let me? Is the game gonna let me here? 
Cool. Uh, no, nope, no, nope, the game is gonna let me. All right, I wonder if we should just go and build in tier and then inside. Probably should, honestly, because I'm gonna get myself in a little bit of trouble here. So we're gonna want to come on the inside like this, guys. We'll actually start working on the tier a little bit. We'll can, we're gonna continue working on the tower, but it's just because we can't get up there right now. So come back on the uh, on on the inside. Uh, what you want to do as well is add torches in here, just two like that, bang on, perfect, right there. Uh, get your two also your two cobblestone stairs like this. Add them there like that. Add your brewing stand in the middle, and that's gorgeous. Uh, you can actually add your door in as well right now if you really would like to, like that. You guys can see it doesn't really matter the actual direction. I mean, honestly, you can have like that, or it's actually supposed to, at least from the one uh, the house that I originally seen is meant to be like that. But guys, again, it's totally your option. It's totally your choice. I am sure most of you will be want to rebuild the exact same, but hey ho. Uh, get your four ladders out. Make sure you come one block here, like one block up, and then go two, three, and four. And then right here is going to be a little bit of a floor right there at the very top of the ladder, so like that. Um, a good way to tell if you've done this right as well, that's a really good uh, kind of like little tip right here. If you come up these ladders, you should be able to see right when you go up here, this kind of, you're at the exact same level as the actual fence, so you can see out kind of thing. That is how you tell you've done a really good level right there, and it's all perfect. Um, right here as well, add one cobblestone, um, obviously one, one piece of cobblestone itself, bolt all the way around it with some purple carpet. Then add the flower pot in, add the, well at least one of the flower poppies. Um, and I believe we have a torch here, I'm not too sure if it's here, I think it is here, but again we'll probably have to go double check that in just a moment guys. Uh, as well we can also bring up this wall I think right here, but we'll go double check guys, one, one second. Go rush in the inside. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys can follow along. I don't want to be rushing this. I want to make sure you guys are doing this at your own pace. That is really what is important here, folks. I know with the last series, um, or at least like with kind of like season one of us doing this, I kind of rushed along a little bit with some things, and that wasn't something I wanted to do. So don't do that with this one, guys. Take your time, and honestly, just make sure it looks right, guys. You know, I mean, take your own. You work at your own pace. You know, what I mean, don't don't try and work at mine or at anybody else's for that matter, honestly. And uh, yeah, you guys can see that's how it's meant to look on the inside there. Now we're gonna climb up here. We're gonna finish working on the tower. We're gonna go here. And again, you should have enough resources exactly, you know, with that shopping list. If you had everything there and you got everything the exact right amount, you should have the perfect amount of resources and your shopping list should be perfect. Um, you guys can see it here. Make sure you put, actually place uh, the trap doors like this as well, guys, up the way um, rather than down. Because, I mean, it's not much of a difference, but it's just because this is how they're meant to be placed on uh, the villager houses. Maybe all placed up the way for some bananas reason, but hey-ho, that is, uh, you know, just, uh, I guess, a design choice. So we're going to place this right around here. Can I get in it? Fantastic. Go here. Place it there. And then we're going to add another layer like this, guys. You want to make sure you're above this as well because it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get up here because there's no there's no ladders to get to the top of the tower. You know what I mean? Like, this is just how this part looks here. And uh, you guys, you still got our 23 extra cobblestone right there. And then right here like that. I'm going to add this in there. Sorry if you guys can do any clicking from my, from my remote. Just uh, my apologies. I'm going to add this in here. Perfect. And uh, yeah, folks, let me know as well, guys. You know, I think it's a, a, a really good thing I want to ask you guys. I, I kind of forgot to ask this in the, in the previous kind of first season of how to build an NPC village. Are you guys happy to see this? Do you guys want to see me make more episodes of these? Are you guys not really interested? Are you guys... I want to know. I, I can always tell myself by, you know, looking at the statistics of the first couple episodes. But I really do hope you guys enjoy this because, you know, we're really adding on to a series that ended, you know, two years ago. You know, it ended because there was no more... There, you know, not, there wasn't no more, but there was nothing else really too bold. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of like why it was all ended and whatnot. But like with this, there really is a lot more we can do now, guys, because of the new villages. So it is honestly perfect. Now, right now, guys, anyway, let's, let's you know, get back on, uh, on topic. Right now, you guys should be up to the very top of the roof right here. Now, don't worry if you have one extra cobblestone. I'll explain that in a second. Don't, don't worry about that one right there. Honestly, that'll be explained for. We normally don't have one extra. If you do, it's uh, it's not meant to be there, all right? Uh, we also have got this white concrete, so it's, you know, it's not really needed. But yeah, get out your uh, spruce right now. Get your spruce logs right here, you guys can see. And then what we're going to want to do is come like one out, as you guys can see there, like this. So we're going to want to go probably preferably like this. Add these into, you know, corners there and just come out like that. Just again, try and follow along, folks. It isn't that hard, but yeah, make sure your logs are like this. So we're going to do like that. And then we're going to go like this and then like that. You guys can see right there. We're going to make this little kind of pattern, guys. So you're going to go like this, add it, you know, do your spruce logs all the way across. Make sure that like they're um, diagonal like this, right across. They're going across the way. And then uh, obviously put your proper spruce wood, the actual full like shaped log, non cut. Put it in the corner as well. Put it like this, little kind of like L shape. That's what you're making on every single corner. Again, drag it across, put it here. Put it there, put it here, make another L shape, drag it across, guys. It's incredibly simple, honestly. There's not a lot of hard work to it. I'm sure you guys are definitely able to keep up, honestly. It's not it's not too difficult at all. And uh, from here, guys, the exact same above, you're going to add a spruce kind of, uh, I guess, piece of, a, a proper piece of spruce, uh, spruce wood, sorry, to the actual roof, like on uh, every single corner. Drag all the logs all the way across, guys. The exact same pattern. Again, it's really just rinse and repeat here, guys, because the roof isn't honestly all that, you know, I guess, complicated. Uh, from here, you're going to want to add this all the way up here, like that. 
and then just do it like this right here now you may be curious like hey joe you still got a few extra logs like what's this for you know is this is this for anything specific uh, specific sorry um this is actually gonna get used guys so don't worry about this this will all get used we're gonna just right now just fly right back down now and you should have this ball looking like this right now and uh, it's coming along we <laughs> we missed a few panels right there as well we're gonna have to get them on the second and uh, from the outside as well if you guys want to add your little i guess kind of small detailed uh, decorations you can add your actual two pieces of grass or your five sorry onto each side and as well you can actually add a flower in there i'm gonna put a flower right here in between the window get your uh, what's it your actual trap doors again and just place them all around here as well because you don't you, you know you don't really want to show the dirt you know like the dirt's not bad it's not the worst thing in the world but it isn't exactly the most clean and uh, it kind of makes your bowl kind of look a little bit tacky from the outside which is not what you're going for obviously you want to make your bowl look as gorgeous as you know possible and uh, you guys can see right here this how it looks on the inside so we're going to come inside here we're going to come upstairs here i'm actually going to go double check that from the inside because i think I forgot to do the roof. I'm pretty sure I have, but I want to just double check and make sure I'm doing the roof all 100%. You guys can see here, this is how the roof is going to look right there. We're going to have the logs in each corner. It's, it's pretty much the exact same. We're, we're honestly, we've done it honestly perfect. Um, but yeah, let me just double check here. So this is that one there. That one there. All right, awesome. Just double checking for the pipe block, guys. And uh, as well, if you want to put these, uh, the, the torches in the right place, make sure it's like when you come off the ladder, you look up. You, you guys are to do it. Listen, you guys are smart enough, all right? <laughs> you guys know what you're doing just as good as, you know, just as good as me. So I'm sure you guys can follow along. Uh, let's race up here. Awesome, awesome. Let's get up there like that. And you guys can see there's our actual uh, logs right there in the corner. So you guys can see you're going to want to jump and just pray, just place in all the logs like so. I'm going to have to try and get up. Whoop, there we go. Okay, got it again. Can I get up? There we go. All right. It's a little bit of a weird angle, I know, guys, but don't worry about it. it it'll, it'll work. You know what I'm saying? No, it'll, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. Uh, let's see. Right. So right here is when you come up there. So it should be there. Have a torch here. Have a torch there. And you guys can see, just keep placing in the logs and you should have a couple extra. Not a lot, but a couple. And uh, from here, I believe it was fairly simple. I'm pretty sure it was like every corner like this. So we're going to want to add it like one spruce wood into every single corner underneath like that. And then add a log in again, just going in the little circular kind of motion, uh, you know, just all the way around. And that should be you guys more than ready to go. Now we're still going to have to add in two extra panels, by the way, because I did forget those. And then that'll be you guys done. That'll be the entire build done. It's really that simple, guys. There's not a lot of hard work that goes into this tutorial. Um, you know, at least for this bowl, because it is honestly, guys, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. However, you just want to make sure you get everything placed in right, because if you don't, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to come back to. Uh, for instance, you guys can see, I mean, what I just done there wasn't really a big job, but it's still something that was a bit of a pain. So yeah, just get in there. And awesome possum, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, listen, guys, I know I've got one block here, by the way, extra. I know someone's going to be like, hey, why do you have one cobblestone extra, Joe? You should have an extra. The actual reason why I've got one extra, and I'll show you guys this real quick just before we end the actual video itself is because I, I believe it should be running about here one of these corner pieces um like that i think there is right there one of these corner pieces right here like i end up actually digging out one extra so it isn't exactly needed folks but just be aware of that i'm i'm actually one extra there so if you have one extra sorry about that you know you got an extra block though you know feel feel happy at least you got an extra block folks and uh, yeah that's you guys done that is the end of today's tutorial that's how easy it is folks honestly guys it isn't that much of a hard build it is incredibly simple to do guys and it's a lovely build as well guys if you want to build a new npc village with all the new features this is definitely going to be the series to follow along with every single week i'm going to be covering a new episode and as you guys can see i've already got a few kind of pre-planned out and um, this is just episode one however so i want to cover one of the main kind of parts and uh, yeah folks i want to just say as always guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys did go to enjoy it please genuinely be sure to drop a like on it let me know as well down below how the video went if you guys enjoyed it if you think i could improve on anything if you guys think i need to you know do anything specific um i really do want to try and make these bowl tutorials a lot better than you know the two years ago bowl tutorials that we've done on npc village which i'm sure 100 they will be and and I want to make them a lot more clear for you guys to understand as well. So yeah, I hope you guys do go to enjoy it. And other than that, folks, thank you for watching today's video. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. We're making our way to 15k subscribers. And yeah, folks, good night. Good, I guess good morning, good night, and good evening. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. So before the video ends, let me just plug my little members only kind of little plug-in right here. All these amazing people right here. These guys are all beautiful and amazing members. If you want to get your hand on becoming a member, click that join button down below. It would be incredibly appreciated. Not just that as well, you'll receive moderate on the channel for life and if free invite to any of our streams a one-time only free invite however a private role in our members only discord plus nostalgic videos every single week in the channel and of course last but not least the most fantastic thing by itself a special thank you at the very end of all our videos like these amazing people right here that's pretty good goes, there is also misery it's no mystery and you and i we got history yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history yeah.